Good morning, it's now Wednesday. I'm just on my easy run out here. It's a little bit windy today, um, but I'll try my best to get the audio okay. So yeah, recap from, say Monday morning. I uh, did a easy run in the morning. So same place I'm running today. Just did around seven miles. Nice and easy paced. Um, I'd not run on Sunday, but it's probably good for my legs just to have a little easy one. Monday morning, spin them out. Uh, then Monday evening, uh, so I double dayed Monday. Monday evening was a group session. So I had around two miles run to get to the session. And then we did, it was mainly three by eight minutes fartlek. So it was sort of running for probably about 60, 70% of the time of the eight minutes. And then the rest of it was jogging, but just as a continuous eight minutes. So that's a good session. Um, quite like doing a double day Monday. I think always feels good to start the week with a few miles in the bank already. So I did 16 miles on Monday between the two sessions. And then Tuesday's run, last night's run, I just did 10 miles steady run at 7.20 pace. So a little bit quicker than easy pace, but I like popping one of them in each week just to keep the legs turning a little bit quicker. So yeah, the plan for today is sort of 45 minutes to an hour. Easy run this morning. I'm going to be doing some hills this evening. So yeah, check in later. Seen any swans lately? Good morning, Saturday morning from Bournemouth. So a little change of scenery this weekend. Makes a change from running around the washlands and me filming my weekly update from there. Um, so I'm actually down in Bournemouth this weekend. And it just so happens, Bournemouth half is also this weekend. So I've got myself a late entry into that. And we'll give that a go. Um, probably aim for something around that 123 mark again. Um, I'm going to take the GoPro round um, tomorrow as well. Um, it should be quite a nice route. I'm going to try and get some clips and talk through the race a little bit tomorrow. So back to the boring stuff, which I'll distract you with a bit of nice scenery in the background. Um, so the training week, I was on Wednesday evening, was my last update. So Wednesday evening, I did some hill reps. So three by one mile, it's a, a good long hill in Burton. Um, which yeah, sort of took up steady pace um, and then jogged down. So the jogs were probably just a little bit slower than the efforts. But yeah, that felt good. They were around 7.20 pace, which wasn't too bad for a long uphill effort. Um, then Thursday, so I double day Thursday got two easy runs so I did a five mile easy in the morning um, just yeah nice 820 pace and then had a treat in the afternoon as myself and Robbie who I've been doing a lot of training with recently and he just ran London Marathon in 319 for his first marathon on Sunday so that's who we were down supporting last weekend so myself and Robbie went and picked up, shout out to Russ. I know he'll be watching with his family on his massive TV. Um, so hi Russ, it was good to see you out doing five miles and getting, getting back to, to the training again. 
So me and Ross used to do quite a lot of running and marathon training together. Um, but he's been out, out of the game for a while running wise with various other stuff going on like cycling challenges. So it's been good to see Ross do five miles on Thursday evening with us. So mine and Robbie's run was around nine miles on Thursday evening. And then as it was a four hour drive down yesterday to Bournemouth, I took yesterday as a rest day. Um, sort of in a little bit of taper mode now for tomorrow's race. Although I'm not too fussed with how I do. I would still like to have fresh legs, go out and run hard and enjoy and get a good time tomorrow. Um, so today's run is be anywhere between eight and 12 miles, depending on my navigation. Um, but it's just nice and easy pace on some lovely trails. So I'll enjoy the rest of the run, pop some clips in and catch up after a race. I've also got myself a new pair of Nike Invincible 2s. So I've been, I've had my eye on this shoe for quite a while. Um, but it's been around about 160 pounds on Nike, which is way out of my budget. Um, but I did bite the bullet as they'd come down to 115 in a recent sale. And honestly, they are like running with pillows or marshmallows on your feet. They're so good for recovery runs easy runs you won't get much speed out of them because there's just no return but they are lovely for nice chilled runs so yeah I'm quite a fan of these invincibles and I think they might be costing me a bit of money over the next couple of years So, so just doing a little warm up. This will probably be before a half. I usually do about a mile jogging, a little bit of um, drills, a few strides. So it'll take about 15 20 minutes. I don't want to do too much, but uh, again, we're going off at sort of race pace like low sixes, 620s maybe. So I don't want to go in too cold, just get the heart rate up nicely before the race, so I'll check in in the race. Okay, and keep progressing to the finish. Just gone through 10k in about 40 minutes. That's a nice comfortable start. Picked it up a little bit for the last 5k. It's more like 6.25 pace. Um, so yeah, I think there's a hill at eight. I'll try and take my one gel just before um, and hopefully pick it up on the last sort of four or five miles. Checking in again, just about 5k to go. 
Um, so just behind me is Patrick, oh, who I ran the first bit with. <laughs> um, Dovish is lovely. Yeah, fellow Midlander down here. So um, I was flagging a bit up the hill, but he's given me a little bit of a boost when he's caught me up. So we'll try and make it to the finish together. Back home now on Sunday evening after Bournemouth half this morning. So I really enjoyed that. It's a good race. Um, nice views as you've seen in the video of the sea and of the cliffs. Probably not a PB course though as it was a little bit exposed with the wind and running up a cliff at mile eight slash mile nine didn't really um, help the course to get a PB. So I finished in the end in 125.25, 25, which was quite pleasing to have a 2.525 there. Um, but not so pleasing, but it wasn't a PB. Um, but I'll take that, it was a good run out and a good chance to run at the 125 pace that I want to be sort of going through halfway in about 125, 126 at Frankfurt in three weeks. So yeah, it was a, a good workout for that and a good training week really because um, I've done 75 miles this week I sort of loaded the sessions earlier in the week so I did the Monday session and the Wednesday hill session and then I'll count Sunday's race as a pretty much like a long tempo session so three sessions in the week um, a rest day on Friday because of the traveling and yeah probably look for similar again next week probably try and hit 70 to 75 um, I've got quite a bit of travelling next week and then I'll look to taper down on the last couple of weeks before Frankfurt, probably dropping it to 60 and then 40 to 45 in the, the race week. So good week and we'll check in again next week.